Okay, just to talk through quickly what you'll need to make your bracelets. There's only three things really you need. The first thing is some cord and I am using two millimeter rat tail cords. So it's quite shiny and it tends to come in quite a lot of colors. So you have quite a good choice to choose from. I'm gonna make mine a personalized bracelet. So I have these letter beads here and they've all got quite large holes so that I know my cord will fit through. And then finally, I've got these silver beads just to add onto the ends, just to add a bit of a decorative effect. And again, they have quite large holes, so I know that my cord will fit through them. Okay, to start off with then, I'm just gonna set the end beads, the decorative beads to one side. And first thing I'm gonna do is thread on the letter beads, making sure they're all facing the right way. So this one is a little bracelet for one of my daughter's friends. So I'm just adding on. So this is quite a nice thing to do, especially if you've got children that have got names that don't usually appear on kind of branded products that you can buy, sort of pencil cases and jewellery items, for them to have something of their own with their name on, especially when they don't normally um, find it easy to find things personalised for them. So I've threaded my beads on and all I'm going to do is quickly use an overhand knot to tie make sure those beads don't come. So my beads are currently in the centre of my cord. So I've added one knot and now I'm going to add a second knot. So to add the second knot, I'm gonna use my round nose pliers to make sure I can get the knot really tight close up. So doing my overhand knot and this time I'm just positioning my pliers in the center of the knot as I pull it tight. And that way, that keeps it up tight to the beads. So I don't have a huge gap between my beads and my knot. There you go. So that's my beads and they're knotted at each end to ensure that they don't, they stay in place and don't come off the cord. Okay, so the next thing then is to create my sliding knot. So I'm going to work out the width of the bracelet at its widest point. So when it's open and it needs to slot, slot over the hand. So I think that is about a right size. Now this cord that is on top, I'm going to feed it underneath. Feed it underneath. And then up and over like that and then just going to tuck it through that cord and pull it tight just get it nice and tight and pull the knot tight there okay so that's the first knot now to do the second knot and just bring it underneath so I'm bringing this top cord underneath the bracelet cord, back up like that, can you see that? And then just took it underneath that top cord and pull it tight. Okay, so there we have our bracelet with our two sliding knots. Okay, so now I've completed my two sliding knots, I'm gonna end, add my end beads. So threading one on, and then I am just gonna do a simple overhand knot and pull it tight. So I'm leaving a little gap and then tied a, another knot, pulling that one quite tight. Now, as this is the end knot, um, I'm going to tie a double overhand knot there just to make sure it's super secure. You don't have to do this. One could be enough or you can tie one 
and then add some glue or clear nail varnish over it to help secure it that's another option for you so then i'm going to add the other bead to the other end and again tie another overhand knot making sure the gap is roughly the same on both sides yep that will do and again just going to tie a second knot on that end because I want it to be super secure and there we go all that is left to do now is to trim off the ends so that's one and that's two so move those bits away and there you have your sliding knot bracelet so to adjust you can just pull these cords to make it smaller and then open them up again to fit it onto your hand and that's it if you have any questions about this please pop them in the comments box below um, if you found it useful that would be really great to hear and um, it'd be fantastic if you'd subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding more videos each month as we go on now. There's also a Kumihimo braided video that you can watch and another one on how to make a basic string necklace. Thank you.